back with the promised video on the, the ratio of q that is the ratio q that represents q is equal to 10 beta by 10 alpha so let's see how this q can be equal to 1 or q not equal to 1 so first of all thanks for keep coming guys and thanks for liking sharing and subscribing it please do so because it's motivate me it motivates me actually okay so let's start okay so you can see your q is nothing but it is given by 10 beta by 10 alpha where if you can see in the first case in the right hand side of the diagram so i have marked with one and then second one with two the figure one in the figure one you can see well, I'm, i have defined the h the governor height and you can see uh, in, in both of the triangles of the governor these are uh, this yeah this one uh, this uh, this is uh, this is our collar sometimes uh, the masses uh, the through which the masses are connected to the uh, spindle axis through this collar these are the collars okay so sometimes what happened this axis is same you can see if i exit this yeah if i extend this one the axis is same and moreover this arm a and this arm b is equal to is a equal to b so it has been seen sometimes the arms are equal and this line of action of the angle are, is also equal then we can actually term it as q equal to 1 but in some cases it has been seen that even if a is equal to b this line is not similar means this distance and this distance is not similar in that case also q cannot be equal to 1 so to be q equal to 1 or 10 beta equal to 10 alpha for if that has to happen your two arms the upper arm and the lower arm should be equal and this line should match means this offset distance should, should also match what will happen then these two angle alpha and beta will be equal hence 10 beta and 10 alpha will be equal so your q 10 beta by 10 alpha will be equal to 1 so if it becomes 1 your formula will be like that in case of porter it will be like that 1 plus capital M by 2M in place of Q I have put 1 so it will become 895 by N square 1 plus M by 2M into 2 so 2 2 gone it will be like 895 by N square 1 plus capital M by small m so your actual formula uh, Porter height formula uh, governor porter governor height formula will reduce from this to this but in case of the second figure if you can see uh, this uh, this thing the upper arm a and upper arm b maybe a not equal to b or maybe a is equal to b but this line and this line are separate means this distance and this distance this offset distance is not same we have to also look into that matter we, we don't have to just see whether this upper arm is equal to lower arm we have to also look into this thing this offset distance of the two points this two collar the upper collar and the lower collar if this has to happen means this offset distance is different i mean even if a equal to b or a not equal to b then we can say q will not be equal to 1 means 10 beta not equal to 10 alpha so we have certain value of q then it will be certainly not q equal to 1 so we have uh, uh, two things either it will be q equal to 1 or it will be somewhat other than 1 so depending on it we can have uh, the equations sometimes uh, we cannot we may not find this scholar sometimes what happen it is directly connected to the spindle axis it happens it may happen but we have to see whether these two angle are making whether these two offset distance are there whether these two arms length are same or not we have to also consider this seeing all this 
by the, by observing all this we can come to the conclusion whether the your q will be equal to 1 or not so i hope you, this simple thing is now clear to you and i hope you'll be coming back and listening to my lectures and please subscribe please hit the bell button please 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 do so because it motivates me it inspires me so thanks for being with me thank you so much Thank <laughs> you.